Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Analyst. We are in chapter 3 and we are looking at the next uh, chapter altogether. That's chapter 3 and we have 4 topics to undergo in this particular chapter. 3.1 Introduction, 3.2 Specification Based Techniques, 3.3 Defect Based Techniques and 3.4 Experience Based Techniques. So we'll be just taking 3.1 and 3.2 here uh, as I've already told you that the introductions have been eliminated from test analyst considering that these inputs are already discussed in the foundation level thus we do not have uh, much of the introduction in the analyst so we'll be just getting ahead with 3.2 so just for in basic introduction in this particular chapter we'll be talking about three categories to understand the very first thing is specification based which we already know from the foundation level and following that we'll be having something new is defect based and I we have one particular technique to undergo called as defect taxonomy whereas in a specification based technique we'll be having new techniques added compared to foundation level which was earlier not discussed in foundation so oh, we have something new for you in the box further experience based technique the previous foundation level base will be expanded further to us at the K3 level so may have to give more importance to that. When you look at the next level, the uh, next topic is to specification based techniques. This is a black box based techniques or you can also call it as behavior based techniques which are basically built upon with reference to requirements. So if you do not have the requirements or business models or any such detail called a specification of the system or the entire requirement documented properly uh, you will not be able to apply this specification based techniques and quickly rewinding back from the foundation level these techniques is basically an answer to exhaustive testing is impossible where we see that we know if there are 100 test cases required to test a particular functionality but as we cannot try with all possible combinations, we only write minimal and limited number of test cases to achieve the best efficiency. And thus the techniques are helpful for us to determine those limited number of test cases at any point of time for different functionality. And we have different types of specification based techniques as you can see here on the screen right now. So from foundation we only learned uh, five of them where equivalence partition, boundary value analysis, state transition testing, decision table testing and use case testing was covered in the foundation level. But when you look at the test analyst being the advanced level, we have got something more included from the previous that is the cause effect graphing, combinatorial testing techniques, user story testing and domain analysis. But it's just not that the previous uh, topics are being repeated here that means you do not have to prepare for it now we'll be having a second level of uh, these techniques how it can be more complicated or different complicated scenarios how you can apply these techniques so it will be elaborated beyond the foundation level understanding what you have already gained so it's a very a simple recommendation for all of you before you get into the tutorials of these techniques I would recommend all of you to quickly go back to the foundation level tutorial of these techniques to understand the basic fundamentals to apply these techniques because I don't think we'll be having enough time to cover uh, everything from the scratch in each tutorial here so I will not be able to give so much time so it will be the best thing that you go prepare before you hit the tutorials in the test analyst for the techniques which are taken from the foundation so that's how you can prepare well and save your time so that's all from this particular tutorial team i just wanted to introduce you to 3.2 we'll be moving to the next tutorial that is uh, understanding the each one of these technique as independent tutorial so please stay tuned for that should you have any queries related regarding this particular chapter or this particular topic feel free to comment below i'll be there to address your queries and answer your questions till then keep learning keep exploring and keep understanding team thanks for watching the video happy learning